Ever heard of the term habituation? Well, this is a sort of training done on animals, especially gorillas, to teach them to coexist with humans. This process is being undertaken in south of Cameroon with the aim of eventually developing ecotourism to generate income and above all, to encourage the inhabitants to take care of their environment. Here's a report from Campo, Cameroon. This is the Campo Ma'an National Park, a vast area of virgin forest on an island called Dipikar. It is located near the southern border with Equatorial Guinea. Matoto, a female gorilla at the park, is going about her business. She is among a group of 12 gorillas who for 10 years have been undergoing a transformation under the World Wildlife Fund. Dr. Michael Kowong, a wildlife vet, walks across the bridge over the Bongola River for his routine checkup at the camp. The 264,000 hectare forest is home to 500 plant species 80 species of mammals, including gorillas and elephants. 249 fish, reptiles, 80 species of amphibians, and over 300 species of birds. However, the inhabitants living on the outskirts of the park are victims of animal attacks. The Conservation Service has now come up with a solution. It consists of suivre les gorilles, uh for the habituation work, it consists of following the gorillas all day long and for years to bring them to gradually accept human presence and come to consider humans as a neutral element, as an element that does not constitute a danger to safety. The project is meant to familiarize a group of gorillas with human presence in order to develop ecotourism. But how do they train the animals? If, for example, the dominant male is charging in the presence of humans, immediately make note of the fact that he does not accept humans. But when the members of the monitoring team show up and that they continue to go about their daily business as normal, that is eating, playing, nesting, sleeping without the presence wearing the gorilla group, then the group can be considered a custom. Human wildlife conflicts on the edge of dense forests are on the rise in Cameroon and cases of crop destruction are mainly recorded near the protected animal reserves, especially in the north. Destruction of fields has increased significantly since the agro-industry set up shop on the outskirts of the park. Most Cameroonians, however, demean conservation efforts. You know that our specific case in Cameroon is that the populations think that conservation does not bring them anything. We really need to strike a balance so that people understand that by preserving, we can also develop. Because there are ecotourism resources that can be developed. The populations can organize themselves around these projects and have direct benefits from it. According to the Ministry of Forests and Wildlife, Cameroonian law does not provide for compensation for victims of animal attacks in the park. WWF said it is testing and studying the possibility of an insurance system to compensate victims in case of attacks. Some have opted for another type of insurance, installing beehives on their plantation to repel elephants. But the conservationists are hoping that habituation will be a successful and long-running solution that could protect the endangered apes. Bureau Report, World of Africa.